What's up guys, Mike here. I've been getting a lot of requests from a lot of people asking me what is the best savings account that they could put their money into and get the highest interest rate and return for their money. We all know that the Feds have been cutting down interest rates several times in 2019 and therefore banks have been cutting down their interest rate as well as their savings accounts interest rate. So pretty much we are all losing and getting paid less each and every month because of the interest rates being cut. This is bad news for all of us because the Feds might continuously cut interest rate, thereby the banks are going to cut interest rate as well. The reason why they're cutting interest rates is because banks need to make money. That's why they were made in the first place. As the Feds continuously cut interest rates, the banks have to cut their interest rate on mortgages, auto loan, and pretty much everything else. And in order for them to stay continuously profitable, they have to cut their interest rate on their savings account as well. So let's go over the five best highest interest rate savings account that are out there today so you can make a little bit more money each and every month by doing absolutely nothing. And all I ask for is for you to smash that like button for the YouTube algorithm. Because I know everyone loves to make money by doing absolutely nothing, I made a video on how to make passive income. Link's gonna pop up up there, so if you wanna learn about that, go ahead and check that out later as well. There's a ton of random banks out there, so I set up a really strict criteria that they must follow in order for us to use these banks. The first criteria is that it must be a well-known bank. No banks that we've never heard of and it's only available to people in Kansas or Virginia. And it can't be a sketchy bank that just happened to open up last night and it rhymes with Schmidt Connect. It must be a well-established bank that we have confidence in. The second criteria is that it must be a verified bank. Unlike my Instagram page where it's not verified yet, we need actual proof that the bank will offer the rate that they say they do. None of those teaser rates where they say they give you an offer of that interest rate and after a couple months you sign up with them, they lower it right away to something much lower. For this, I looked at the reviews of the company and looked if they actually offer the interest rate that they do and how long they've been doing it. And if they've done any teaser rates like this in the past, I would have excluded them right away because I know that they're going to just trying to get the customers to come in, sign up with the accounts, and after a couple months, they lower the interest rate right away. Third, it must be available to anyone in the U.S. Fourth, and this is the most important one, they must be FDIC insured. The last thing you want is that the bank is a small bank and it goes solvent and you find out that it's not FDIC insured and you lose out on all your money that you put into the account. And fifth and finally, you must smash that like button for the YouTube algorithm if you haven't already. It goes out a long way and it really helps for all the research that I put into this and I would really appreciate it. So make sure to smash that like button for the fifth one. First, we have one that everyone has heard of and that is Ally bank and i just want to clarify none of these banks have sponsored me to put them in my video unfortunately so none of these banks are sponsored or have ever called me to put them in the videos i know a ton of people who have used ally banks for their rental income properties for their savings and checking accounts so this bank is totally legit and it's really good one thing that they offer is that you could have multiple accounts with free debit cards and have no minimums and no fees whatsoever and the best part is that their savings account interest rate is a 1.6% rate, so which is really great. And they also are FDIC insured. The only thing is that they don't have any physical banks that you could walk into. You have to do everything online or on the app, which is really easy to actually use. The second option is a really popular online bank that a lot of people use, and that is none other than Marcus by Goldman Sachs. And they offer an interest rate of 1.7%. And with them, they have no minimum or no monthly fees or no hidden fees. And they have no other crazy fees that you're not told about. And the best part is they are FDIC insured. However, they don't appear to have a mobile deposit check straight into your bank account, which makes it a little bit inconvenient. Come on, this isn't 1999, it's 2020. These banks should be able to let you automatically take a picture of your check and deposit into your account right away. So make sure you keep with the program, Marcus. I'm talking to you. Third, let's take it up a notch and turn up the heat. And that's with CIT Bank. And they offer an interest rate of 1.8%. Not to confuse you guys with Citibank. This is CIT Bank, much different bank online. 
all right? Not Citibank, but CIT Bank. In order to get that 1.8% interest rate, you have to do one of two things with this bank. One of the two things that you could do to qualify for this 1.8% is the first one to keep an average balance of $25,000 into the account, or you can go with option two, and that's to deposit a hundred bucks every month to get that 1.8% interest rate. Assuming that you could do one of those two things, just know that there are no hidden fees and no maintenance fees. And the best part is that they are FDIC insured and available to anyone in the US. Unlike Marcus by Goldman Sachs with CIT Bank, they do offer a mobile app that you could deposit your checks right into your account. And overall, you should be pretty happy with this bank. The only reason why I haven't switched to this bank is because I use a different bank that pays a little bit more and makes me a little bit more money. So make sure you stay tuned for that because it's coming up. Fourth, okay, this one is unbelievable, okay? What I'm about to tell you, it's unbelievable, but it's real. At first, I didn't believe it. I thought it was a joke and I thought it was made up, but I looked into the reviews and I saw how and what it offers and a lot of customers seem to actually like this bank and it's pretty legit and you guys are gonna totally laugh about it. The name of this bank is none other than Redneck Bank. That's right, you heard me. I said Redneck Bank. Don't ask me how they came up with this name. It makes no sense to me, but it is real. They even have a realistic fly on the website that you could chase around with with your mouse by just scrolling over it. And you could have a ton of fun with it, which makes this website a hidden gem. Now, Redneck Bank offers a 1.75% interest rate on their savings account, but even better, they offer a 2.25% on their checking account, which is absolutely insane. Now here's how it works. On their checking account, you get 2.25% interest rate up to the first $10,000. And then they give you a 1.75% interest rate on their savings account up to the $50,000. Honestly, if it wasn't for their limit of $10,000 and $50,000, I would move to this bank in a heartbeat. Just by reading all the reviews and how people are super happy with this bank, it seems like it's an all around bank and a really great bank. And honestly, I'm really impressed with this bank and I would recommend if you're looking for a high interest savings account to look at this one and also make sure to do your own research to make sure you're comfortable with it. But otherwise, this bank is a true gem. All right. But wait, there's more. I could one up this one. And this one takes the gold medal. This is the one that I've been personally using myself for a couple months now. Sorry everyone, you're just not giving me that interest that I want. Like they say, if you want me, you can't put a price on me. And that includes putting a limit either. This bank is giving me that sweet, sweet, high interest yield savings account. And that bank is none other than Brio Direct Bank. They're offering 2.05% interest on their savings account. And yeah, they are FDIC insured. With Brio Bank, there are no hidden fees. All you need is to have $25 minimum into the account. And then you get that sweet 2.05% interest on their savings account. I did a ton of research, read a ton of reviews, and I found out a lot of people are really satisfied with this bank. And they were established in 1888 and they are fdic insured so this bank is totally legit that's why i've been using them for the past couple of months myself most of these banks give you these high interest savings account because they're hoping that you invest by using their platforms and that is where they're going to make most of their money when you invest with the bank and not just use their savings account that's why they want to get you to come with their savings account hoping that you're going to invest with them long term as well Finally, I wanted to give out one last honorary mention and this bank gives out an insane interest rate over all the ones that I haven't mentioned so far. This is the T-Mobile checking account which pays 4% in interest. But wait, you don't get 4% interest without a catch. There's always a catch, so here it is. It's limited to the first $3,000 only and you must deposit $200 a month to get that 4% interest rate. The way I see it, I don't think it's worth the hassle of making that monthly $200 deposit every single month to get that 4% interest rate, especially when there's other banks out there like Brio Direct Bank that pays you 2.05% interest without doing anything and just putting that money in there and leaving it there. 
But I just wanted to mention it just because if you have that $3,000 lying around and you wanted to get that highest interest rate, then T-Mobile is the one for you. And if you just don't mind making that $200 monthly deposit. Now before I end this video, I wanted to clear some confusion. Using any of these accounts is not a substitute for investing and it's not about making the most money possible even though that's kind of the point of getting the highest interest rate savings account but let me explain the thing with a lot of savings account is that you're not really making anything when you account for inflation inflation is usually about two percent a year so just leaving your money there and sitting in their account for 2.05 percent you're really not making a lot of money all you're making is 0.05 percent interest rate which is absolutely nothing Nobody gets rich off 0.05% interest rate a year. However, the entire point of this video is to keep your money at its value and grow it just a little bit just until you find something else to go and reinvest your money elsewhere to make up a lot more on that money. For example, I would leave my emergency fund into one of these high yield savings accounts just so it grows a little bit and it keeps up with inflation and it doesn't lose its value over time. Or if you're just saving up money to buy a property and you know your money is going to be sitting there for 6 to 24 months until you find the right deal, then of course I would encourage you to put that money in a high interest savings account until you're ready to deploy and find that deal and buy that house and make your money worth more than it's worth now. So again, this is not supposed to be a substitute for investing because in reality, 2% is not a lot of money, especially when it comes to inflation. It's just to hold its value right now and just make a little bit until you go and reinvest it elsewhere in something that gives you a higher yielding return. With that said, thank you for watching my videos. I really appreciate it. If you like videos like this, make sure to smash that like button, hit that subscribe button, because it's totally free and in fact that subscription button pays you a 3% interest rate so subscribe also make sure to add me on Instagram I pretty much post there daily so if you want to be part of that make sure to add me on Instagram as well also if you want two free stocks from the stock market Webull is giving out two free stocks one for signing up to use their platform and a second one just for making any amount in deposit it could be like five bucks or ten bucks any amount the second stock will be worth up to fourteen hundred dollars so make sure to check the link in the description below for that also robin hood is giving out a free stock make sure to check the link in the description below for that as well thanks again for watching my videos and until next time make money with mike